Steel Chaos 2018, day two. People are already hangover. They are more or less screwed. So, Yanni, the newest addition to Asaka lineup, which we are now, by the way, interviewing. How are you doing and why your heart is beating so much? I'm just considering what I have done yesterday. My heart is beating like a 3000 ppm. You're also part of the whole organization and the, the festival, but you're also playing here. Do you have any stress? No, I'm drunk. All right, let's get to the main man uh, here. How are you? I'm fine. Also drunk? Um, getting there. You're quite famous for being drunk, but still able to perform. What? What? Why am I famous for being drunk? I mean the whole band. That's only your vision. Actually, I'm usually quite sober when I play. Is this? Are we supposed to, you know, like believe that? No. So let's start with the easy one. You're one of those so-called Tolkien black metal bands. Have you ever considered changing your name? Yeah, but it's kind of too late now. Nowadays, it it was an important thing in the 19s, Tolkien and shit, but it's not like you can change your name anymore. It's it's what it is. You're well, one of the most active names in the Finnish black metal underground. Uh, I don't know how much following you have, actually. I think that's kind of a hard to measure, but you're certainly one of those cult names that keeps just going all the time. What keeps your motor running? <laughs> no, it's... It's... I don't know. It's very fucking hard to explain. I don't know what else to do. This is my fucking life. I play black metal. So what this is what I do. So what does black metal mean to you, um, aside just, you know, creating riffs and all that stuff? It's, it's my whole fucking life. It's the most important thing ever for me. I, I don't know what else to do. I play black metal. So it's also a lifestyle choice to you, but what is that lifestyle except drinking wine and playing on stage? <laughs> That's pretty much it. It 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 justifies my alcoholism. <laughs> it's, it's that kind of a, like a means to an end. Well, kinda, yeah. Why don't you play rock and roll then, where more booze and all kind of drugs are available? Why black metal? Because I'm not a very good musician. <laughs> so you could basically play punk. Yeah, punk or black metal. <laughs> Two obvious choices. Yeah. So. What is the story of uh, Azagala? You know, there are lots of people who might be just, you know, hearing from you the first time, even though you've been here more than 20, 25 years or so. What's the so story to keep it kind of a short? Where you started and when, why are you still here? For me, the point is that I keep on playing fucking basic black metal. No fucking gimmicks, no bullshit, just black metal. You know, that to keep it simple, I want to play black metal like it was in the 90s. And nowadays, not many bands do it anymore. Everyone is fucking pre or pro black metal or, or this or that and just play fucking black metal. What are your lyrics all about? There are lots of people who don't know it also, can you just give an idea where your lyrics come from and what they are all about? Ah, uh, the lyrics are, they are actually, there is no, they are a mixture, mixture of, there is Finnish um, fucking mythology and then your average satanism from Crowley and stuff and it's just a mixture of things that I find interesting that there is there is no clear message in them it's just that I'm interested in those things and I've read about the things that interest me so you are basically pouring your thoughts into the lyrics exactly yes people have been you know get, uh, asking me for example on the channel and whatnot like 
where does this uh, so-called Finnish black metal sound come from? Why there is this thing called Finnish black metal? Because it's quite different from, you know, Swedish or Norwegian scenes and other places as well. Uh, do you have an answer for this? Where does this Finnish uh, sense of melodies and riffs come from? Well, it's hard to say, but it's kind of that... If you consider, for example, Finnish pop music or... Iskelma musiikki. Schlager. Yes. As it's called, it's already fucking dark and melancholic and I don't know. It's it does come kind of from that. It's somehow in the Finnish blood that everything is melancholic and dark. Do, do you think it's uh kind of atmosphere and the Finnish nature and you know that we live in a kind of a dark country do you think that affects the mindset definitely it does fuck it's already what what fucking time is it now early and it's fucking dark outside and raining and you can't be fucking happy in this country <laughs> Finland fucking sucks. <laughs> One could say that, you know, uh, Finnish climate, uh, you know, being dark early in the days and all that stuff, it can be really depressing and kind of uh, putting one down. But black metal musicians especially have always kind of translated this uh, dark atmosphere into energy, which then again goes into the music. Do you think this is actually a kind of energy that we can use? Not really, no. So you just get depressed and drunk? I just get depressed and <laughs> drunk. Re- well, what do you do? Me? I just listen to the music that fits the kind of a mood and, well, I work out and, you know, get these dark thoughts, but I- I'm not a depressing type, really. You work out and give seven out of ten to everything. Yeah, like seven is my favorite number. You know why? I know. It's a lucky seven. <laughs> But you recently also toured Europe. That was yeah. a good and a bad thing. Can you tell us a little bit about that tour? No, that 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 was fucking awesome. We played. It was like three weeks and 15 gigs or something like that. And that was fucking awesome. It was exhausting. That you know, you had to drink a lot. Yeah, and we all realized that we are not fucking 20 year old anymore. Really? Oh, really. We are all like 40 or whatever, but it was fucking heavy. But on the other hand, it was the best time of our lives. It was so fucking good. This brings me to the newer edition of the band, uh, because you also took a part of the on this tour and you shared some thoughts on like social media and whatnot about this how did you feel tour life you know taking in well uh, that was my fourth tour of this year in europe and one i made in states but uh like tommy said it uh, it was quite exhausting uh it was hard to realize that you are not 20 years anymore but uh we had good alcoholism with tommy And lots of cultural sightseeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I made special walks in the night. Sightseeing. <laughs> so how does uh, playing in Azagal feel to you? You, I mean, you had other bands previously. Now it you have kind of a moved on or changed the scenery, so to speak. How does it feel like you know changed band at your age of 40 something uh, is this so much different than your previous bands or is it just a new the same shit in different label no it's not the same shit uh, i feel like a, it's honor to play in asakal because it's one of the biggest black metal bands in the world well, in my opinion at least so i'm honored to play in that band it's not the same shit uh, i have play, played in city bands not so good ones and Well, good bands also, but Asakal is special for me, of course. This brings me to question, you know, Finnish honesty is something that I guess most cultures just don't get it. We might just, you know, call our band shitty and all that stuff, and we're not, you know, these marketing guys. Where does this kind of a Finnish, Finnish honesty, when it comes to also added to black metal, where does it come from? Is it, is it the same thing that we have about Tommy, about this kind of a climate and scenery and all that stuff, or 
What it is? Well, uh, well, when we were in the Europe, people want to talk a lot about the uh, chit chat. Well, uh, Finnish, talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finnish people. I think, for my opinion, is that uh, I feel it quite uncomfortable uncomfor- to speak uh, with the people. So when I have something to say, I say it straight. So if I play in city band, I have played in past. So it is like that. Yeah. Since you also organize Steelcase and Steelfest yeah. and all that stuff, you have to deal with a lot of different bands. Mm. How does this Finnish mindset fit in that kind of a like honest, no bullshit, you know, idea? When you go straight forward, everything is easy. Uh, there is no hidden messages. Everybody saying what they want, what they like, and what they don't like. Uh, it's not always like that, but with the uh, Finnish pe- uh, people and with the bands, it's quite easy. Since you have to, you know, um, go with the same mindset also on tours, does it actually help you or is it a bad thing? <laughs> I know where you're getting. <laughs> I, I, I don't. <laughs> well, uh, it's easy with me also. I say what I feel like and what I want uh, or, or, or I'm missing something. So I say it straight. You With me, you don't have to think uh, that I do I have something hidden on me. Can I, I say something now? Of course. Yep. That that was a huge problem on the tour, because you're too fucking honest and straight. I I had to be the fucking diplomat constantly to keep the peace. Are you a peacemaker? I am. I am. I am. Well, yeah. That you you wanted to fucking kill the organizer on the fucking first day. I try to keep everything calm. That yeah, okay, no one worry, everything is fine, and I'm 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 like that. I'm I'm a nice guy, man of peace. Yeah. You, well, you wouldn't know it, but I'm a nice guy. I, I do know. I know you're a great guy. <laughs> uh, so before we kind of call it a day, and uh, you, you can continue your drinking, let's talk a little bit about the future. What what is in the future for Azagal? What, what lies ahead? Uh, for now, we try to play tonight, obviously, and then I think we have a South American tour coming up in December. Uh, how long tour is gonna be? It's uh, 12 weeks, I think. I'm so fucking tired, I hope it would get cancelled, but to all my South American fans, yay! <laughs> yay, they're there. coming! <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of expectations, except for drinking, you have for that tour? Um, now, now it's good. No, we we try to get this uh, interview on air before the tour. So, what kind of hopes you would uh, set up for the fans and organizers? What booze you would have like to have there? What booze? I would booze. You know, alcohol. Well, I I'm a I'm a wine person. I like red wine. So take note. Yeah, so what, what else but the tour in South America? Uh, beyond that, we haven't really discussed. We have some... We have pot- potentially, I think, a Chinese tour coming up next year and then some festivals, but... Beyond that, we don't... For next year, we don't have any big plans that... Try to rest a moment. All right, so now it's time to finish. So one last uh, words from both of you guys. What would be your number one uh, words of wisdom in the terms of like, this is my life tip to, like words of wisdom in philosophical sense or whatnot? Ala mene. What about you, Yanni? <laughs> Ala mene is a good one, but uh, don't go in English, so. I would add, be honest. Thank you, guys. Uh, I hope you a uh, good gig and a good tour. And uh, we'll see you soon on stage. And this is a good lesson about Finnish mentality. Don't be a douchebag. Be honest. And a la mene. That's really, <laughs> that's really all I all we can say. Take care and uh, take good care of yourself. Drink wine and don't die or whatever. See ya. Kiitos. Ihan sinne päin. No ihan se meni ihan, ihan niinku, joo, joo. ihan oppi. Täytyy sanoa, että on kyllä... En muista, en muista koska... Kun... En muista koska se niinku naurattanut näin paljon sille, että hyvä kun täällä on ite hiljaa siellä. Mut siis hyvä, hyvä pössiks. Tää oli... Tää oli, tää oli...